All right, good day, everyone. Hope everyone all right. Um, today we're looking at a few multiple choice. Um, and it's basically transformation, right? This is for the transformation. For each of these questions, which option is true? All questions from past CXC papers, right? All right, so the first one says the point P2, negative three is rotated about the origin to an angle of 90 degree in an anti-clockwise direction. What are the coordinates of image P? So guys, a lot of things happening. So we could just break it down one by one, all right? So say this is the point that's gonna be rotated. So the point is two, negative three, and it rotates through the origin to an angle of 90 degrees. So that's noted, which direction? anti-clockwise so that's very important also all right so if it's anti-clockwise it's going that direction what are the coordinates of the image p all right so um i'm not sure if you guys know the formula there's a general formula for anti-clockwise direction all right so it's a two by two matrix so it's zero, negative one, and one, zero. And this for 90 degrees, anti-clockwise, right? So we're gonna be multiplying the point P, we're gonna put it in the column form. So it's two, negative three, right? Because this point would be x, and this point is y, so yeah. All right, so we know that when you multiply in a matrix, it will be rho times column. So it will be zero times two, that's zero. Negative one times negative three, it was positive three. All right, so we don't need that row now. We're on to row two, which is this row. So it's one times two, that is two, and plus zero. So our final answer would be zero plus three, that's three, so x is three, and y is two. Can I write it in this form? So it's because that's all they have it, three, two. These are the same, right? This is just the column form. So this is equal to this. So our answer would be A. All right, let's move on to two. I should do a, a graph paper on that, doing a graph. Um, I'm gonna do this in graph, so you guys look forward to that. All right. When rotated to 90 degrees about the origin in a clockwise direction. Notice this one, clockwise, all right? They're so going with the clock. And it's still 90 degrees also. Awesome, awesome. All right, so the image of the point and the point is three, one. So let's do that. So the formula for this one would be zero, One, this one will be negative and zero. Guys, you have to know these formulas. I don't want to get on the sheet. I will multiply it by this two by multiplying the two by two matrix by this. I know that it's rho times column. So zero times three would be zero. Anything times zero, zero. And one times one would be one so that's a positive one next we multiply negative one times three that's negative three and anything times zero is zero so our answer our final answer would be okay don't you so I have no space zero plus one that's one and that's negative three so that would be our answer so our answer for this one would be c 
All right, so let's move on to number three. It says the point, I'm gonna get all the options. All right, that's it now, guys. Awesome, awesome. The point P two negative three is translated by the vector negative three to the coordinates of the image of PR. All right, so we have P, if you understand the question, you know. so P plus the vector, we call the vector V. All right, and that gives you the image of P. So we're searching for the image, so we just add it, right? So it will be two, negative three, just do it in column form, plus negative three, and zero. All right, so we're adding two and three, that will give us negative one, and negative three plus four will give us positive one. So our answer would be A, which is negative one, and one guys so these are very very tricky and um, you have to read it and interpret it all right let's move on to number four number four now it says that lmn which is this triangle right here lmn above is rotated anti-clockwise about L, the origin to 90 degrees, which of the following is its likely image? Uh oh, so we have to look at all four. We can a small one, so we can see all four at once. All right. So we are at this point. And it's 90 degrees. So basically, M go go so. Or definitely this. M, yeah. Then N go over. And then L come across. So that would be B. So number four is B. So let's dig it up right now. You guys can see. Okay. Right, this, if you have a phone, smartphone, you're supposed to have an um, idea how it does look, right? As you rotate the pictures, when I edit it to look pretty and then something else. So yeah, I need no explanation. All right, number five. Let's dig it up again, dig it up again, dig it up again. All right, so let's everybody can see. All right, this one says the point Q4, negative five, has been translated from P to negative three. What is a translation as a vector? All right, so the point Q has been translated from P What is the translation of the vector? All right, so Q, I can put down Q. I need to look a bit trickier. So it will be four, negative five, that's Q has been translated from two negative three. Oh Lord, I need to dish that over here soon. What is a translator vector? All right, so what we're looking for is the translation vector. What did they add? Q2. get this result. So I'm writing this. So it's my interpret that the point Q I can translate it from P. Oh these are the answer. Right, well done guys. The result time should be Q. That's what I'm getting from it. I said translated from P. That means a P plus the vector is it is. All right, so this should be clear. Guys, as I said, this can be real tricky. I have to interpret them correctly. All right. And we know that the point P, I could call this point P right here. 
that will be two negative show you all right so what plus this give you this right so we can simply subtract it this will be the vector of the robot actually because i don't want you guys to get all right so we want to find out the vector so if we translate it we call this vector let's say vector v so if p plus v is equal to q then v would equal to is our subtract v right all right so or another way we can look at it now guys what plus two give you four and what plus negative three give you negative five so this two way you can look at it right the hardest part was to interpret it and as you guys have seen i almost misinterpreted what it was saying right so this would be two and this would be negative two but if one we can do it the other way right put it the other way so this would be the answer we could do it the other way say we're gonna say we don't know what v is so v is equal to q minus p for some people like formula i don't really teach my students formula formula i teach them to understand and then they can um twist their way but also you said give them they should understand the concept so we're gonna minus no it's minus two minus two and this can be a bit tricky to guys because these two so this is what we're gonna get right this is gonna become a positive the negative and the negative for the for the um, so four minus two right so you can see here yeah. some persons cannot see so four minus two and negative five minus minus three so this is definitely going to give us two this is give us negative five that's going to go become a plus three and from there we see how we get the minus two so our answer will be two well we have established that two and two so our answer would be two. all right let's look at number six again we have to read it very carefully and see what they are saying all right he said the point q three negative one has been translated from p by the vector four negative three what are the coordinates of the point p all right so again The asking us for P this time. All right, all right. Let me see. Before my right hand, let me um make sure I'm not the point Q. Yeah, I think that's the point Q. All right, so that means you definitely P right here, so plus the vector. Give us q all right so guys just learn how to interpret it so p we don't know what is p but we know the vector this time so the vector is four negative three and we know q what was the again three negative one all right So again, we're gonna subtract because if p plus q is equal to p plus v is equal to q, that means p is equal to q minus v. And we a simple linear equation, right? So I'm not gonna go along with this one. So this we're gonna say p is equal to three minus the four because we're gonna subtract, and then we have negative one minus minus three which is this because we're gonna carry this over to here so right yeah so this would be negative one this is gonna become a plus so this is gonna become plus two so 
it would be our answer would be negative one and two. So our answer is C. All right, guys, we have come to the end. I do hope you guys learn. Please share with others. All right. This is Mr. Bennett. I'm out, no doubt. Thank <laughs> you.